Hey, what's up resin heads? Today I'm going to show you how to water cure your resin 3D prints. I'm absolutely amazed with the results of this method and I'm sure that once you try it, you'll be convinced that there's no better way to cure your prints. Okay, so let's go. Let's make 3D. If you're tired of dealing with sticky, undercured areas on your prints, you need to try water curing. This is a very straightforward, simple method of curing. After you clean your print, remove the supports and simply drop your print into a clear container, a glass jar or Ziploc bag, and set the container in the sun or curing chamber. Cure for about half the time that you normally would cure your print. I found this paper from Charles E. Hoyle at the University of Mississippi. It explains how photopolymerization works. It also talks about the role of oxygen in inhibiting the process. Here's another article on factfox.com that explains it. It also has a nice illustration showing the process. It also talks about how to stop these resins from turning yellow. By the way, you can slow yellowing or avoid it altogether by immediately spraying your print with a UV clear coat. I'll provide the links to these resources in the description. UV resin is known as a liquid photopolymer. It contains properties that change when exposed to ultraviolet or UV light. This is the light that is within the visible spectrum of light. In our case, it's typically in the wavelength of 405 nanometers. When UV light hits a photopolymer, it initiates a process called photopolymerization. This process manifests a structural change in the resin resulting in cross-linking or hardening of the resin. When you cure your print the traditional way, oxygen from the air permeates the uncured resin on the surface of the print. This oxygen inhibits the polymerization process and prevents the resin from fully curing. This can leave your print sticky or tacky and soft, which makes it easier to ruin the texture of your print by leaving fingerprints on it, for example. Curing your print in water allows the water to act as an oxygen inhibitor, allowing more thorough curing of the print. Water contains less oxygen than air does. Air contains about 21% oxygen, where water contains less than 1% oxygen. Now, water does absorb UV light, but not in the wavelengths that cure the resin. The water also uniformly refracts the light around the container, and the light reaches small crevices in the print that traditional curing sometimes can't reach. This uniform curing also means that your print ends up with a harder surface and a cleaner finish. Depending on the temperature of the water, it can also keep your print from getting too hot, preventing that discoloration that makes the print look burned. In addition, typical curing time can be cut in half by using the water curing method. Curing in water is the primary method that resin 3D manufacturers like Piopoli recommend. Pour tap water into a clear glass or plastic container or a Ziploc bag. Make sure it can hold enough water to completely cover your print. After cleaning your print and removing the supports, place your model into the water container. You want to handle your model with gloves, not only to avoid contact with any uncured resin, but also to avoid getting your fingerprints on the model. Any tacky, uncured resin will easily take up fingerprints, ruining the texture of your model. Expose the container to sunlight outside or UV light in a curing chamber. Cure your print for at least half the time that you normally would cure your print without water, just long enough to eliminate any tackiness on the print. Let your model air dry completely. Run the leftover water through a paint filter before discarding the water and the filter. Alright, well that's it for this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, go make 3D!